Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mason with another online tutorial. And on this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to subtract mixed numbers and when we should use borrowing. Now what we have here are two mixed numbers, 6 and 2 fifths minus 3 and 3 fourths. Now some people like to simply rename each of the mixed numbers into an improper fraction and then subtract. And if you do that method, you will never have to use borrowing. However, with the method that we're going to choose today, you will have to borrow. And let's explain why you will have to borrow in this particular situation. The first thing we have to do is make sure that we have a common denominator. We see that we have a 5 and a 4. The first common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. So we're going to change each of these two denominators into the number 20. Now when you're writing a new fraction right next to the original ones, keep in mind that this new fraction has to be equivalent to the original one. So whatever numerator I put here over 20, we have to make sure that that new fraction is still equivalent to 2 fifths. And here's how you figure that out. To turn 5 into 20, we would have to increase 5 by a factor of 4, because 5 times 4 equals 20. And what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And 2 times 4 is 8. Now let's go to the bottom. Of course, 4 times 5 is 20, so we increase the numerator by a factor of 5, and 3 times 5 is 15. Now, they say when you subtract fractions, you need the same denominator, and we already took care of that. The denominator is 20, and you simply just drop the denominator down. What you're supposed to do is simply subtract the numerators. So you would take 8 minus 15, but you cannot do that. Because you cannot take 15 20s from 8 20s. The top fraction must have a larger value than the bottom. In this situation, we would have to borrow. And here's what you do. We take 8 20s, and we want to make this a larger value. So we go over to the whole number and borrow one whole. So we simply change the 6 into the number 5. Now we take one whole and add it to 8 20s. But be careful. We have to change 1 into a fraction before we can add it to 8 20s. And we have to use the same denominator that's given. And right here we can see that 20 is our denominator. So what we're going to do is write a 20 here. And the number out right on top of 20, which means one whole, would be 20 over 20, which is the same thing as one whole. So now we simply add 8 20s to 20 20s, and that gives us 28 20s. And now we can subtract 15 20s from 28 20s. And 28 take away 15 gives us 13. And now we take 5 and 3 and subtract those, and that gives us 2. And we can now reduce 13 out of 20, so 2 and 13 20 is, is the answer. So like I said, some people like to rename these and change them into improper fractions and subtract that way, which requires no borrowing. But if you do decide to borrow, it's a pretty simple process in most cases, and you'll see that it's not too difficult. 